Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to the new Baba Is You. New mechanics, new official levels. I'm excited to see what this is about. This is the train world. It's a whole train on the tracks, and this level's called Electricity. It's sorry, it's the vehicle world. My bad. Powered. Powered. Bird is power. Powered flag is win. What does power do? It emits electricity. Okay, powered bird is pop power. I don't know what that means. Kiki is defeat. Well, powered Kiki is defeat. So, no, Kiki is powered. Powered Baba is you. Bird is power. If I make bird not power, does Baba no longer become you? Oh. Oh, I see, I see. So reset. So if bird is power and, or no, if bird is not power, but power to Kiki's defeat, then I can get past the Kiki to the flag, but powered flag is win, so I don't win. Here's what I think. If powered Kiki is defeat, can't I just push in the statement, bird is power into Kiki? And then create it on the inside, and then once I'm inside, I, uh, the sentence, the sentence "bird is power" will be created, and then "powered flag" can be win. Because once it's power, powered flag is win. Will actually do something. Nice. Okay. So as long as something is power, powered statements become active, and non-powered statements are not active. That's all I know so far. There's probably a lot more to get. So I'm the bird, bird is me, powered flag is win. Well, there's a B, B is push, B near wall is power. Oh, powered rebel is defeat. So it's not defeat right now. I see the flag up there. Past the clouds, which are sink. Oh, there's also the word lonely over here. Lonely, oh, what is this? I don't know what to do with this. Flag can't exactly get out here. Can I make lonely B is flag? I think that's what I have to do. Issue is I need to create power. Now, power is nice. However, it prevents me from progressing. So I gotta figure out where I can set it up so it works out. Hold on, let me take these bees and push them out of here. That's an issue. That kills me, but it doesn't have to. Let me try something. Like, I can just push that out there. Push it out here. No, that only goes so far. Yeah, I don't want that sunk. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Let me quickly reset. Because I need to create the sentence, Lo Lonely f B is flag. Oh, how about this? I use this B to break the water. So that B breaks the water. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this. Now, maybe I could sacrifice the word push after setting up the bees in a proper place. What I do, I think, is actually push the bees into this area. So when I want to win, it can not I won't have to cross any more rubble. I think that's the plan. Yeah, that has to be the plan. Let me get the word lonely in here too. Right, so now I can get the bees into place. And it'll be lonely bee that turns into flag. So the one that's not next to the wall. And now the rubble is defeat, but that's not what I really care about. What I want to do is push push into the water here. So I can do lonely flag is B. Oh, and actually what I want is lonely B is flag. Yeah, don't mess that one up. That would be pretty embarrassing if I did that. Haha. <laughs> so got these. And now the flag issue is I can't leave. I can't believe you would do this. You know, I'm pretty sure there's only one way to do this. And the way to do this is by destroying the leftmost and the rightmost pieces of water. So that means we have to go all the way back. Oh my god. And I'll show you why, but first I gotta figure out how I'm destroying these waters. So the first thought from here is, well... Clearly, this bee should not be destroying the water then. Maybe I could just get the bee out into this area, have one of these bees and the word push destroy the pieces of water. But this bee still has to get out, I think. 
So B is powering right there. Set up the whole B is push shenanigans again. And now it's not powering, so maybe I'll make it not push. And that way I can get out. Okay, this could work. This could work. Yeah, I could see this working. All right. Let's set up that B is push again. And now it doesn't really matter which uh, B I kill the water with as long as that happens. And then I can set up these Bs. So now that I've got it set up, here's why I've got to make uh, those two waters gone. I still have to push in lonely and is just like normal. Or lonely, yeah. No, lonely and B. I keep the is out right now. And we'll see why very shortly. Because what I have to do with flag is bring it above this water. And then the is can go to the left of it. And now it can go over. What the hell? <laughs> Ooh, what the hell? Hey, it's a win. A win is a win. That was just weird to do. This feels more like a normal Sokoban than Baba is you. Well, how about log cabin? How to get in? Bird near door is power. Bird is push. Okay. Powered door is defeat. Powered flag is win. I see move and ice is sink. So I can go through this, but I can't go through the ice. What I need is to just get the bird in here, have the bird walk back and forth once move happens. And then I can send the word push in here and create bird is move. And what I'm wondering is why this is so challenging. Because why don't I just make the bird be right here and I create bird is push, but I stack the word bird on top of the bird because I think we're gonna have a space problem otherwise. Now I can send these through so I, the door isn't powered when I'm t on top of it. Maybe the bird shouldn't have been up there. No, the bird should have been covering something like is or push. So let me almost reset. Because I simply need to retrieve the bird. So there we go. Undo that. And now make bird is push again. And the bird can just be about here. And then get rid of push. Welcome in move. And then only for a split second, the bird will be powered. So I just need to not be on top of the door while it is all powered. And now that I'm on the flag, I can win. Very cool. Way easier than the previous one. Just had to make sure to stack the text. I mean, I guess that thing could be challenging. But if you played enough Baba, what the? It's a p p companion cube. What the? It's a lever. What? There's a cake. What is going on? Any, I was going to say, if you played enough Baba as you, clearly just stacking the text to the answer. What is going on here? This isn't Baba as you. This is Portal. Well, I am Gigi. And there's a lever. Are you expecting me to read all this text? This is the most text I think there's been in a single level. Eventually, cake is win. But I had to get through. Ice is sink. Door is stop. Door is stop. Why does it say door is stop twice? Oh, there's two different doors. There is a dark orange door and a light orange door. Great. Awesome. Oh, and the one-way door is because of the lever. So then there's lever and then there's a triangle. So once I'm here... Oh, it's off. Hold on. So I have to push the box onto this lever so that the doors are now boxes and the boxes are now doors. So I can get through here now. So I just have to make cake as win. But that's not what I want. What I actually want is to make a lever push. And honestly, I don't think actually reading all these rules are that important. I think I just need more of a feel of the lever. Because it seems that when I hit the lever, something happens to the door. Power happens. Can I make boxes lever? I think I can. I think I have to do that at some point. First, I think I want to make the lever is push. Because I want the lever to go right next to the door here. And then I want to send the word push into the ice. And this is all without really reading the rules. I've made cake is win. So now I can make box is lever. Nope, that's not what that does. Not lonely lover is power. So the lovers power each other. Great. I think I just want to reset. Something's not right here. Okay, so hitting this lever changes all of the states. I feel like this has to happen. I have to get this text back. 
and I have to push in the other lever. I don't know what now. Okay. Let me do a little lever is box right now just to switch these. Lever is box. And what I want to do is make boxes push. Because what I need to make is this to be right here. And then I'm going to make boxes lever. And now I can sync the word push and create cake as win. So then what I can do again is lever is box. Which lets me get this far, okay? But what I need to create is the statement boxes lever in here. So that this can turn into a lever again and then I can open the door. And then I should win. Emphasis on should. Here we go. Let's see. Hey, cake is win. Beautiful. How strange. Do I get a bonus level? Okay, so power is kind of cool. It's also kind of hard. I don't know what to make of this. Well, on to the next section. Clockwork ghosts. Ghost is auto. Huh? So the ghost moved when I moved. That's it, right? But the ghost doesn't move. How is ghost auto? Okay. Weird. So it's like, okay, well, it's always push. What the? Ghost on ghost is hedge. Okay, so it automatically moved into the other ghost? Auto. So what, auto makes it move? Clock is win, and clock, I love that. Every time I move, the time changes. Weird, so I have to get past the doors, but they're shut. And stop. But I can get past this ice, but it's a one-way door, because once I walk on it, it becomes a hedge. But only once I walk on it, because the ghost can get through. And his ghost... Well, ghost isn't open yet, but it could be open. And actually, let me reset so ghost is no longer auto. Can I save this ghost at all? Yeah, I can push it up into auto. I feel like that might be necessary so I can rescue as many ghosts as possible. So it just seems like I've got to push a bunch of ghosts through here. Use the ghost to push the ghost and then maybe the ghost can be open and open the door? Well, I guess if ghost is auto, ghost is open, then we might have something going on here. But still, I imagine because there's four doors and four ghosts, each ghost needs to open a door. It's just what I need to figure out is how to send it up. Well, I could make all three statements at the same time. So I don't see what the issue is. With this, I now have all three statements active at the same time. So all I need is now just to send the ghost up through the door. Now we get to the clock. Auto, huh? Automatically moving in the direction that you push it. Well, it seems like auto just functions similarly to move. So I don't know how it's really different. How maybe this level will clear things up a bit more. We have rocket that's auto eventually. I have Baba that's fall to the right. Rock is push. I need to stop being fall. So all I'll do is send this all the way down. And then break up the statements. There we go. Now I can move. I win if I touch the flag. and Because flag is win. I have me is shift. And that means if you go on top of me, you will be sent to the right. Because me is facing right. And so once I'm in here, I can't get past. So getting to that one flag isn't so hot. But rocket is push. So what I can use with rocket is basically make it almost a... Oh, I was going to say I can make it a boundary that I can't walk into. But rocket is float, so rocket does not interact with the me. That is shift. Well, but I imagine text is... What I would like to have happen at some point would be to have something occupying the space to the side of me so I can walk through without fall, without being shifted. And if everything is being blocked, then I got a good thing going. But it's still not that easy. What I actually need to do is have Rocket be here, and then at some point Rocket will be fall. Let me show what I mean. So say I have four Rockets here, and then they become fall. 
I guess it's not going to be perfect because they all fall to different spots, but at least I can... But hold on, if I then make them push, I can now waltz across here to a distance. And that ends right about here. So no, it's not that simple. Um... This is interesting. What does it look like when I push a text across here? It goes to that position, but then if I try to go there, it pushes. But if I get three pieces of text loaded up, then I might have something interesting going on. Another thing I want to see is what happens when I do rocket is auto. So it's going to move up. And then I get pretty close because what I would like to do is push in text here and then waltz across. And actually, what if I get rid of the word fall in there as well and just create this massive bridge that I can almost get across except for this one tiny gap. And then I still would have trouble with the above gap anyway. So it's not that simple. I've been thinking a little bit. Uh, you add up the total amount of word blocks and rockets I have at my disposal. It does equal the total amount of gaps in this area. I wonder if I want to form the sentence, rock is push, rock is fall in this little bend right here. Or what if instead of forming rock is push, rock is fall on the inside, what if I form it on the outside? Now this might seem weird. I'm not going to do it right away because first I need to get the rockets into position. I was thinking like, why, whoops, whoo. Why can't I send them in and then have them be auto so they'll stop right about here. And then I want them to be fall. So now it's blocking off a good amount of stuff. And at the end of the day, what's important is that rock is push is still a functioning sentence. And actually this looks really good too. Yeah, as long as I can form rock is push, I'm happy. So, you know, leave them there. They don't need to be fall or push right now. And if I want to form the sentence rock is push, I think it should have push right, be right there. And then is right above. And then I push in Baba first as a bit of a placeholder because rocket needs to be push. And that needs to push Baba out of the way. So now the rocket is a uh, stop. And the is fall doesn't really matter. And just as long as it doesn't accidentally form a sentence, they can also be blocking. And now I can make through. There we go. Flank is win. All right. So the auto felt the same as the previous level. Just a convoluted move. What about clock words? There's a clock. Clock is push. It is you. Oh, no. Ooh. Text is auto. And the sentence has been broken, so it was no longer me. So here I was able to save the sentence. There we go. So, clock cannot be win. But clock can become you. So I should do that. And then it is win. Oh, but text is auto. Oh, that looks just annoying. Because anytime I push a text, it's going to be in the most e annoying spot. Well, I can push text down, and then it's still savable at least. So maybe this could help. I can push it over. Oh, interesting. Auto goes until I reach... Oh, clock is stopped. That's why. Here's an idea. What I could set up is clock is you. And I would be able to get you in position by just waiting for it to fall down. And I could get clock is in position hopefully easily. I think though first I need to have two clocks set up. Oh my gosh. Here. And here. So I can push both of these down. Whoa. This down. That down. Both of these over. And then keep doing this wrong. Then down and then over. And now I can make the sentence. And I just gotta wait. So now clock is me. Oh. But if I move out of the way, clock is no longer you. Because not all of them are falling to the left. Oh, that's dirty. Oh, well, here's a new idea. I push this statement down, and then I can send it to the right. Duh. 
So now clock is me and I'm not really in danger of losing yet. Now I just gotta make it is win and you, which comparatively should be easy. I hope I don't mess this one up. Just gotta organize myself. So down. And then... Um... Set it down real quick. It's like I gotta surround it just so I can corral it into the proper position. There we go. Odd. But it works. Automatically moving text. How about this last one in Clock World? Oh! Okay, the level is auto. That's new, so I'm not even pressing any buttons. Ghost is move, level is auto. So the level is automatically happening, regardless of my control. Ghost is defeat, hedges stop, it is you. And I had to make it is win, so I had to get past the ghost without having them basically run into me. It's just Frogger, but Baba is you. Incredible. Alright, well that shouldn't be too bad, just gotta make it back once now. This is a fun little gimmick. So this actually seems amazing for the level editor, because people can just make automatic levels, and then simply, well, make it be like different games, like Snake. Oh god. Uh, alright, hold on, wait! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of possibilities there, so that seems really interesting. I'm glad it was just an easy showcase here. Alright, well that is very eye-opening. Are there any bonus levels? No bonus levels. Alright, I think I'm gonna end it there. That, though, that is an interesting showcase of the new automatic mechanic. Thank you all for tuning in for Bob Is You. I know it's been a while since the last episode. I hope to be doing a couple more of these every now and then, so stay tuned. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace.